We're starting our tour on the shores of Lake Geneva. We transited last night. Um, it's quite a late ride, but we got here eventually. But today we're going to head south and we're heading to Tullion, where we're going to catch the overnight ferry to Corsica. So we're just packing up now and then we'll hit the road. So we stayed here last night at Hotel Restaurant de la Plage and woke up to the most insane views of Lake Geneva and the surrounding mountains. We used hotel card to get this hotel 50% off and we're basically just gonna head off now and get on the road. I think we're gonna be heading via Annecy and then in the direction of Grenoble and then dropping down all the way to the sea. Right, we're leaving Hotel de la Plage on the shores of Lake Geneva. And I think we need to head further south now, Em. Sounds good quite a long day isn't it it's like five hour ride it is a long day today I mean, we've got 500 kilometers which as you say is uh, I think about about five hours um, I've put into the route that the first half is going to be just I think a motorway blast just to make up okay. some time and then hopefully we'll find some smaller roads after that but uh, there's a lot of snow on the Alps at the moment so I'm hoping it's just at higher altitudes otherwise it might get a bit colder <laughs> Hopefully we can just skirt around them and then head down and grab that ferry. We are the last on the boat, I think um, we just about made it. <laughs> that was a pretty stressful four or five hour ride actually. It was, uh, it was, was it? It was not what we planned. I think, I think we'll talk about that when we get in in a bit. Yeah, it has been a crazy couple of hours trying to get on this boat, but I think we're about to get on. It said that check-in needed to be at, like, the latest you could be here was 5 o'clock and we got here at 4.52. It was close. And yeah, it was a bit close. Had to do slightly more than the speed limit, I think, to get here. Just, <laughs> just a little bit more. Just a little bit. But the, here we uh, go. The relief. Yeah. This is the Mega Express 5. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big ship, isn't it? It is. Uh, hopefully that means no um, no sickness for me. The bigger the ship, the better, right? <laughs> no, does it? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I feel like the, the trip has started now that we're getting on this, but today was just a transit day. It was not it the was. fun at all. We're going to give you a full debrief when we finally w make our way to our cabin. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of this ship. Yeah, the amount of vehicles that it's just swallowing, it's, it's amazing really. Here we go. Right. Wonder where they want the bikes. Right, we're going up. Well, oh, you don't want to stop on that. Oh, he's doing a bit of filter, is he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's bumpy. That's where we want it. He'll start yeah. on the ramp. I think everybody is in agreement that it's better to wait till the cars get to the top and do this in one run. Here we go. Oh, watch your head. That wasn't the best. <laughs> yeah, heads down, definitely. I'm getting uh, deja vu from that train. This ceiling seems quite low. It is. Very low, actually.
before you judge our appearance, we have been <laughs> on a bike since nine o'clock this morning <laughs> with one stop. One very quick stop of 10 minutes. That's been intense, but we can finally go up to our cabin. I think on the ticket that she gave me, it's in my pocket, our cabin number is on. Oh, okay, I have no idea. <laughs> just it's thing. just like, get on, get on, <laughs> as quick as you can. All right, deck five. Do we need to remember that? I should think so, yeah. <laughs> look like they're strapping the bikes down at all. No, there's no strap supplied on this one either, so... We'll we've see. Had, we've used our chain this time. Yeah. I think it is. It's what it is, isn't it? It is. I'm going to try and find this ticket in my pocket. We are deck six, 6,127. So we're on this deck. So we're at room number 6,127. Don't mind me. Sounds like a party boat. It does it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be on this for quite a while because it, it goes to Nice for another pickup. So. Oh, does it? That was the op my plan B if we miss this one was to bomb it to Nice and maybe catch it again. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Nearly there. There we go. There we go. So apparently... I don't know what you're doing. I don't reckon a piece of paper scans on there. So you have to use the piece of paper that they give you as you boarded and go to reception where they will give you a card. So we're back in the, uh, in the maze of rooms. Sean is in pure pack horse mode. <laughs> this is like the most complicated thing ever. Uh, that's the guy down there. The one the one that let us walk past him. <laughs> <laughs> he must have thought we were just going for a little walk with all this bag. <laughs> Merci. Merci, bonne soirée. Bonne soirée. Merci, merci. Here okay. we are. Looks like we're sleeping in separate beds tonight. Well, we're falling out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they put the card inside. Okay, that's quite easy. Okay, that's good. Can we open those windows? I hope so. Um, curtains even. Hope we can't open the windows. The day started off well. Like, we were up early. We were up early. I don't know what happened, but we didn't leave the place till like 10, 10.30. But we did get up at 7. So but I don't think it was that late. Uh, I don't think it was. It was 10, because I remember just as we were leaving, I looked at the time and thought, oh, goodness, better get a move on. But I also thought we had a bit more time, because I thought the ferry was uh, 7 o'clock Yeah, well, we both did, because yeah. the ferry that we're taking isn't the ferry we actually booked the first time three months um, ago. It was changed twice yeah twice we had to rebook it because they rescheduled it we had to cancel the hotel halfway because we went the italian side last yeah time. we were going to go first. from somewhere in italy to bestia and then they changed it to tulion to bestia yeah. so i think in our heads it was seven but no we had to be here at five yeah. so then we <laughs> realized that we actually had five hours to ride and it was yeah. like 11 right. o'clock we had to be here by five o'clock and the gps said like you'll arrive at five o'clock. Well, they actually said a little bit after, after five, five. o'clock. And there was so much traffic on the road. And um, then, yeah, we yeah. hit the first big block of traffic and we were like, okay, we still will be all right. And then we hit another and another. Yeah. And then it was before every payage yeah, that we yeah, had, yeah. there was a massive queue. So there was like four, maybe five payages yeah, on this there, trip. There was a lot of payages, wasn't there? I think they, they really caused a lot of disruption with everyone stopping. Yeah, and we must have spent at least 30 euros on payages today. Yeah, they're quite steep. We had planned to do B roads for half of today, but after we did the first half, we were so far behind schedule that we just had to stick on the motorway and do a little bit more than the speed limit. Yeah. To get here. Um, but yeah, we had to do quite a bit of filtering as well. That was fortunate that there was enough room to squeeze through, otherwise we'd, I think we'd have missed this very, but turned out okay in the end wasn't it it was all right in the end but it was yeah. pretty stressful for, towards the end because yeah. when we saw the sign for tulion we had 30 minutes left on the um on like the sat nav and then there was city traffic yeah wasn't and, there? and it was like, no but we could see the boat as well that was a relief when you could yeah. see the boat 
but there was no uh, there was no cars waiting as we pull up to the no. ferry it was just empty and barren but we got on and we're here <laughs> and we've not left the port yet we're still sat in our cabin little cabin that we've got we're in a luxury cabin and i'm quite glad yeah. that i got the luxury yeah, i think you can tell we got, got towels and everything yeah we've got, but we'll give you a full room tour anyway and i think we should go off and explore the boat yeah she just announced that they're serving cocktails and long drinks on the top so maybe we celebrate that we did actually get here yeah uh, yeah that would have been a really bad way to start this tour but yeah. somehow i think like the first big tour of the year always feels like you've never been on tour before like you forget yeah. where to pack things you like leave stuff here and there and yeah it's like we're out of practice but we've only <laughs> it's only been like three months since we were on a big tour oh, oh yeah exactly but still we need to get back in the swing of it so. we do begins right begins tomorrow let's do a room tour this is our little cabin as i said we got the luxury one and for sean and me and the bike for the luxury cabin came to around 150 euros and we are in off season and i heard from someone yesterday saying that it gets quite expensive in the summer months so maybe that's flexible or change but this is the little room that we have kind of destroyed and that's six foot two sean on the bed not too I bad i have to say there's a very comfortable mattress and they don't have those big stupid square pillows no so i should have a good night of sleep tonight yeah so we've got two beds i think these are a bed as well so if you've got four of you it's actually quite good and hmm. little port window ours has a bit of a stain on it you can just see the port of tulion there and we also have our own bathroom, which I think is the main thing about it being luxury. Toilet, little shower, comes with a shampoo and some towels. So Good I, is that? I reckon it's the same price if there's four of I you. I think you. So that, that makes it really reasonable because it's, and you can take one that leaves early in the morning and arrives the same day, but you might as well take the nighttime one and save on a nighttime's accommodation. That's a good point, isn't it? plenty of space time of gear as well he like jackets there they didn't go off today we hit a few like bumps and speed bumps and they didn't go off so that's great yeah. we still haven't built up trust with them yet it's going yeah. to take a few weeks i was gonna stand up on the bike a couple of times but i uh, chickened out in the end but i think i think you're fine to stand up with them it's yeah not, i think so sense, right i think we should go now and explore the boat we'll yeah sounds there. good yeah so we are on deck seven our cabin is deck six shadow's cabin is deck five and i think everything that's fun which is is deck seven so let's go and see it has like five restaurants on this thing oh yeah well, do you know when they're open eh? i'm getting quite hungry oh i'm not too sure a little money saving tip that i hadn't thought about is just to bring your own air bed it seems to be the normal here i don't know if you can rent them but i'm pretty sure they bought their own but they do all have power outlets there, so I think they've brought little pumps to pump them up as well. It's quite a good idea, actually. And we're going! Look at that! Bye, France! Finally moving! <laughs> we're still going to France. I know, but it's different! <laughs> this is cool, isn't it? It is, it's good to be back on a boat. We're trying to get a little glimpse of the port, are we? I think so. Oh, well, we hope, know where the lifeboats are. I hope we don't need them. Quite good access to them. How's your hair coping out <laughs> from the deck, Em? <laughs> We're on deck nine uh, to get the view of us leaving Tulion. Well, so you've got a bit of glass there. Go yeah. Over the top. Believe it or not, they actually have quite a deep swimming pool out here as well. It's quite deep, though, isn't it? We lose you in there, that's for sure. That's for sure. I think we should head back in because the wind is just blowing those fumes at us. Yeah. Oh, do you want to stay up here and party? Um? Little dance outside the, uh, the Lido Beach Bar. One more time because I think this one has a good view. Oh, it's heavy. Here we go, this way. Oh, look at that old tanker. How are you? The destroyers, I think. Yeah, I've got that. Um. You get a photo on the camera. So the first photo we have of the trip is of an old navy boat. <laughs> 
When we were getting on the ferry, a couple of the staff noticed we were vlogging and gave us a 50 euro voucher to the food restaurants here on the boat. So we're gonna head over to the Dolce Vita restaurant. Um, I think it's like the fancy one on the boat um, and we'll give you our little honest opinion on it. There's a menu here. It's quite it's a quite good selection. Uh, there's an English menu over there. All right, let's go check it out. That's better. Anything that takes your fancy? Um, there's a few things, I think. Yeah, we might as well go here then. Okay. Really good. Right, what's for dinner, Em? Well, we've ordered gnocchi and some french fries and a couple of cokes, but it's very posh in here. I feel very underdressed. It feels like everybody is very prim and proper, so we're definitely in the snazzier part of the boat for dinner this evening. But we'll take you for a tour around some of the other options later on. I think there's two other restaurants or like self-service style um, places on this boat. And then we'll probably be heading off to bed, but I am so hungry now after the day that we've had on the road. Aren't you, Sean? Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to this. Yeah. Cheers anyway. Food has arrived with the gnocchi and pine nuts. It smells pretty good. And the chips are skin on. I'm very hot. <laughs> mm. But really good. So I'm going to tuck into this now. Give it a try. Gnocchi is gnocchi though. Mm. It's very fresh. I take him to the fanciest restaurant on the boat. And what is he doing? Chip butty. <laughs> So this is the other restaurant, Yellows, which is a self-service. You can see some of the prices there. It's not the cheapest, I'd say. I think our Noki came to, oh, I have the receipt, um, 14 euros 30, and our Colas were around 3 euros 60. We're just gonna have a little wander around. There's a games room. Is that a motorbike, I see? Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> is it open? Take all the fun out of things, don't they? <laughs> I don't know. I guess you wanted to have a go on that plastic I motorbike, did. didn't you? Right, back to the room then, is it? The shop even open? I don't think anything is um. It's not that late, what time no, is it's, it? It's uh, about 20 to eight at the moment. We won't even, nothing will be open either tomorrow because it uh, disembarkation is at seven, I think. Wow, that's early, isn't it? Yeah, but the cafe's open at 10 to six, so that's at least good. we can get a coffee. It looks like they're good machines too. Yeah, it did. I want to go back inside now. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of water. We all know you're not a fan of water. No, not the biggest fan of water. I mean, look at it. You, you fell off there. Like, there's no one going to stop the boat to come and get you. Either. I would stop the boat and I would come and get <laughs> I'm you. I'm sure you'd manage that, actually. Don't, don't put it past me. <laughs> oh, it is choppy, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Get a cabin with a porthole, she said. We've got a random bit of rope that's just smacking this window. There it is. I think it's going to do that all night. Fancy nipping outside and we're getting that bit of rope. <laughs> We'd been better off with an internal cabin at this point. It's all in fun though. At least we've got, um, at least we've got um, bike earplugs. That should work, right? Oh yeah, I could put in the earplugs, can't you? Can you hear that? It sounds like we're inside a washing machine where, it you, does. where you put your trainers in or something. Yeah, to it wash. does. It's going to be on like a 10 hour wash cycle. Yeah, we'll just be thankful we've got earplugs. <laughs> Although I think I'm pretty tired of it. I'm going to sleep through that. Window. Yeah. It's only 10 to 8. We've actually only been on the boat like two hours. Was we that haven't right? even done the first docking yet. Is it not, it's not even close not to Not even nice. close to Nice. So we would have made, oh yeah, the Nice one was 11 o'clock, wasn't it? Because we had the option of getting on later at Nice. Yeah. We didn't want to hang around Nice at night at like 11 o'clock. Yeah, exactly. The and then like get on here, rushed, and then yeah. get something to eat and go to bed. So It's coming up to 10 o'clock now, so we're going to go to sleep soon because yeah. tomorrow we've got an early start. The boat docks at 7, so I think we're pretty swiftly off when it yeah, drops. Yeah, we'll need to be up super early. Yeah, probably going to have to get up around about 5.30. But yeah. the good news is, is the cafe is open at 10 to 6 and it looks like they've got some good machines there. So yeah. at least we can start the day off with a coffee. And then we'll be exploring at Cape Course. We're going straight into it onto one of the best roads in Corsica. Yeah, that's going to be spectacular. A complete like contrast to today's riding. Tomorrow I'm really looking forward. We've got the route planned and I think we'll show it maybe in the morning. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs>